PUB is improving its SMS alert system for flood risks. Now, all this comes after feedback that building owners in Orchard Road, especially for Tanglin Mall and St. Regis, failed to receive flood warnings on Sunday morning. PUB will make the system more sensitive to rising water levels and will also allow the public to subscribe to this SMS alert system starting next month. Stamford Canal, which runs through Orchard Road, has seven water sensors. They are placed in tubes like this. And when it rains, the sensors monitor water levels every two minutes. And when water levels hit the 75% mark, which is a moderate flood risk, or 90% mark, which indicates a high flood risk, the sensors will trigger the data logger and a SIM card in this box to send an SMS alert to subscribers. The catch is the system was not designed to trigger an SMS alert when water levels hit 100%. And that's the reason why Tangling Mall and St. Regis did not receive the SMS alerts on Sunday. PUB says due to high intensity of rain on Sunday, the water levels had already hit 100% when the water sensor serving the two locations read the levels. For that particular day, what happened was that uh, the rate of increase of water was pretty high. It was so high that it uh, bypassed our uh, our. Uh, trigger points of 75% and 90% levels, and therefore the SMS alerts were not sent out. PUB says it has already tweaked the system such that it will start triggering SMS alerts if water levels hit 100%. It will also look into shortening the two-minute time interval for monitoring water levels. We base our two minutes on uh, past records. We actually have been monitoring some of these level sensors uh, for the past two or three years. And uh, if you look at what actually happened on that Sunday, the rate of increase of water was easily about three to four times what we have seen for the worst case scenario. Well, the SMS alert system is also useful for PUB. It says once it receives alerts that the water levels at certain sites have hit the 50% mark, it will deploy contractors and staff to those sites to check for blockage and to monitor the situation.